Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the smallest Class A motorhome that Coachman makes. This is the 2020 Coachman Pursuit Model 27DS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then, I'm gonna give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV reviews the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I am super excited to take a look at the smallest class A gas motorhome from Coachman the 2020 Coachman Pursuit 27 DS now before I begin I would like to say hi to Andrea hey hi, Andrea everyone. how are you tired but i'm doing good thank you we're rolling out the videos today we are aren't we trying to roll them out we are cranking them before this rainstorm comes yes. i'm super excited to show this motorhome to everybody let's begin model is 27 ds but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 28 feet 9 inches so this is a really small class a if you notice that side shot, it, it kind of looks like a corgi, doesn't it? It looks Just little. Like was, short and stout. Yeah, <laughs> when you, you were know? driving it, I was like, oh, that's a little motorhome. Yep, very small motorhome right up here. The front headlight design, this is the Coachman Pursuit. Big, big upgrades from previous model years. I think it looks fantastic, and I love the headlight design. At least it's not that weird looking brown anymore. Oh, yeah. Right here, you do have your mirrors right here, the black mirrors. And then below, it's that's where you have your cameras for your left and right blinker in reverse. And this does have the Ford V10 engine, 320 horsepower with 460 foot-pounds of torque. And right here, we do have a doggy window. Andrea, Yes. for us, it's a kitty window, but now it's a doggy and kitty window yes. right there. And there's our puppy. Yep. Ding. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Great. Right here's your tires. These are the Goodyear tires, man. 245-70R19.5. I love that. Right? Right here you do have a speaker. Huge, huge awning. Oh yeah. With a speaker in it. Let's take a look at the awning when it's all the way out. That's the whole length of the motorhome almost. Hey, it's either a big awning or, or a small motorhome. Exactly. It can never be in between, right? Yep. Great, nice power awning. I love that pattern. Yeah. And LED lights. Cute. I love that. You know, this is Coachman's, you know, part of being the smallest, it's also gonna be the lightest on the smallest chassis. Um, and, you know, it's also entry level. So you don't have the slam latch doors. But here's a little bit of storage right there. Nice. There's a the ladder for the bunk over the cab. Did I mention frameless windows? Yes. Perfect. Here's a little bit more storage, right? Okay. Because this is a Coachman motorhome, you know they use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green material that will never delaminate on you. We love that. Right here, you do have a TV for the outside. Pretty nice. Not gonna lie, nice like setup going I on I actually here. like the colors too. Yep. Right there, it is prepped for solar. You got an LP quick connect underneath and more storage right there. That's great. And then we have an electrical outlet there. Yep. And more storage. More storage. Okay. Very nice. Coming around the back. Oh no, the weird type of bumper. Not a fan of that. Right here you do have your fuel fill up in the rear. I love that. 80 gallon fuel capacity. Also, we'll have all the specs about this motorhome, lengths, tank size, whips, everything down in the description below. Also, you have a backup camera there. Check this out, Andrea. 8,000 pound hitch and this motorhome can almost tow 8,000 pounds. Again, you always want to check the GVWR minus the GCWR and figure out how much you load in this motorhome before you tow it, but that's an awesome feature. Also, you have a one piece cross flex PVC roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Hey, no climbing on the roof today. Here we go now. Because it was raining. Just stay right there and do the video. Up here on the roof, you can see this nice one piece TPO roof. You do have your max air covers right there and there. You do have one AC unit on this motor home. And then right here is your King Air digital antenna and your Wi-Fi Ranger. Hold on. Here we go now. Ugh. 
great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. And Andrea. Yes. We're whispering because there's customers right there. Yes, but with little kids, so we yes, have to. So I didn't want to say that out loud. Tone it down. <laughs> but, 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 the people have spoken. The people have decided. <laughs> what are we doing, Andrea? So guys, we decided with the stickers, buy one, get one free. Bing, bing. Buy one, get one free, y'all. That's our www.mattsrvreviews.com. Awesome. Great. As you guys saw, one AC unit up there, so it's a 30 amp motor home, okay? Over here, got, here's your Cummins Onan 4000 generator. Again, one AC unit, so you only need a 4000. Okay. Little nook. More storage. Yep, little nook right there. Right here, that's pretty, pretty all right. Here's your wet bay, black and gray tank, everything. It could have been worse. Could have been worse, could have been better. Right here's your uh, water heater, six gallon DSI water heater. I don't hate this, because again, entry level price point motorhome. Yes. You know? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's just a gray dump. And then there's your outdoor shower and everything. Okay. Very nice. Here's where you hook up your fresh tank, city water connection, potable water. Cable. Everything. And more storage. Nope. Propane. Oh! There's your propane. That's a big tank. Sure is. Great. Well. All right. All right. We got one more. Right oh, there. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, the new features on the outside look great, but the insides look even better. Let's go take a look. Back to skipping, huh? Oh, yeah. And the cargo care and capacity on this motorhome is 876 pounds. Womp, womp. Yeah, it is what Again, it is. Because it's on the light, lightweight chassis. Look and at this. And it is what it is. Oh, I love the colors in here. Okay, so let's walk to the bathroom. Okay, yeah, you can see that I could walk to the bathroom. Very nice. And then here's the bed on a slide yep all right now while we're putting the slide outs out i have a huge favor to ask everybody if you could please leave down in the comments below let us know three things you love about this motorhome and three things you don't like about it the more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button the more people youtube likes to promote our video to and andrea yes Guess how many subscribers we just hit last night? 37,000! 37,000 subscribers! Thank, thank you. you guys! Thank you absolutely it's amazing. everyone! Thank you, we love it! We do! Alright, so let's get started up here in the cockpit area. As you can see, there's a pedestal table right there. Oh, so yeah. those of you that have been asking to see how they're set up, there yep. you go. And there is cup holders in them. Um, again, we've talked about this before. This is cheap, right? This is the cheaper alternative. It's okay. It's a price point motorhome. But Andrea, I actually like, I like the way it. it looks. You know, I think it kind of looks kind of looks like um bed liner in a truck. It's real nice. You have your auto leveling right here, auxiliary start, gen, you know, in a nice big windshield. I, I'm, I like I'm a big it. fan of that. And there's your camera screen. Then Andrea, sit in the passenger seat. Okay. Oh. I like the nice table right there. Very nice. Uh, you have a USB. Uh huh. And a little charger here. Yep. And you got curtains here for privacy. Yep, curtains that go all the way around for privacy. And actually, this seat is comfortable. Yep. Not not power, but you guys can swivel these chairs around to make it part of the living room. Nice. And above, we have three cabinets. Nice. You know, I really like this color. I yeah. really do. I think it looks very natural and light very nice and then we have a bunk over the cab all right let's see what that looks like when it's all the way down all right and you do have a bunk over the cab um and we can't put it down right now because this unit was at the rv show and we always take the fuses out but this switch was actually right there okay so yeah great over here in the living room area oh <laughs> let's check out this nice cabinetry again andrea i do love the colors it is very beautiful and nice. Right here you have a nice window. Look at this shade. You only have the privacy shade. You don't have the daytime shade. 
Again, price point motorhome. I love this sofa. It's good for three seats. Nice. There's three seat belts. And that does make it to a jackknife so, no, Yep, it jackknife is just bed. a jackknife bed. Okay. Right? And then we have a fan up here. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> and oh, then across. Here we go. Yep. With the two-tone colors, you guys. I like it. I'm a fan. I'm sure you don't like it. I like it. It's a nice dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. You got your TV here directly across from the sofa. And then again, you got your blinds right here. Oh, they are the MCD blinds. I do like okay. that. Then you have storage. storage underneath. And that's on both sides, everybody. Yep. Let me show you the other side. Very okay. nice. Very nice. And yeah, um, Andre, you want to show everybody the kitchen? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Well, actually, I want to point this out. Check out this light fixture. Oh my gosh. I love it. And here's your panel. Uh-huh. Little nook. Got a little, like, door here for sweaters or light jackets, whatever you need. Very nice. And then here we have the kitchen. Uh-huh. Nice cabinetry for being entry level. Yes. I think it's very, very nice. Very I here. love the color. I have the window here. Uh huh. And look at the little backsplash, little honeycomb. Actually, this is really cute, but they could have did a little bit more. They could have done more for sure. Yes, for but sure. but it looks good. It, it is cute. I love this big sink. This is important to me. Uh huh. And then you have a little microwave here. Very nice. And we have a oh okay. We have a three burner cooktop. Why does it look a little bit different than most stoves? Um, I don't know. It Doesn't just is it? different. Yep. Yeah. It's more chic. Yeah, it's cute. And then we have an oven. This is Dometic. Uh-huh. And then we have a cabinet here. Very nice. And I gotta grab these drawers. Yep. I think I forgot them. Four drawers! Well, that, well, that's Three sponges. and a half. <laughs> For sponges. Very cute. Oh, snap. Throw it. Oh, soft, soft clothes. Clothes. Yay! Soft clothes drawers. And this price point, too. That's great. And then we have the two-way refrigerator. Very now, this nice. This is the camp size. Yep, yep. Two way propane and electric. And then there's a, look at this, nice cabinet here. Very nice. And then uh, look at that artwork, Andrea. Huh, that's interesting. Andrea. Yes. Is that artwork? Art Deco? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, even though it's not Art Deco, it's now time that we give you MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome is, it's amazing by the way. I believe it. $130,658 wow. MSRP. Andrea, map pricing's over. The I 2021s know. are about to be rolling out soon. And so we have everything on liquidation. 42% <gasps> off MSRP. What? to 76995. That is crazy. That's absolutely insane. I absolutely love it. But there is always a little bit better. And listen, 42% off. When I say little, I mean microscopic <laughs> bit better. Tell them how they can do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com. Andrea, let's continue the video. Great. Let's show uh, the wardrobe. Wow, wow. That is big. That is deep. I like it. Nice wardrobe. We have a double door right there, double drawer. And Look then there's at this. a cabinet underneath. I'll show that in a second. Oh, the pocket door. Yep. It's locked. Okay, it's locked. But yeah, pocket door to give you privacy between the bedroom and living room area. And then look at that, more drawers wow. there. And then look, look, look at the heat vent. Notice how it's not on the floor. Yes. I'm a fan of that. Awesome. Now here in the bedroom, you got a nice king size bed. What? That's crazy. It's a huge bed, Andrea. Um, right over here, you got the backsplash there. Or not backsplash, oh, headboard. Look. Right here, look at this. They has a light and power cord. This is the Coachman CPAP station for you to put your sleep app machine. I love that. Then you got doors up there. Doors and drawers and You know everything. what? This is this is cute. I actually oh, like snap. this. Look at this. 
You got that right there so you can control this TV from there. Yes, and you got a charging center. Very and nice. And the TV. I hope Very you can nice. See it. Yep, yep, for sure. Window there. Uh huh. A window beside the bed. Double two windows, them. yep, for nice cross ventilation. And then look at this little. Even though you have like kind of like a nightstand there, you still have like a little um, table here and you Perfect. got little nooks. This is so cute. Yep, this is great. You know, I'm not a huge fan of how the bed folds, but they designed it well to keep this motor home, you know, at 28 feet, nine inches. Okay. Now it's time for the bathroom. Wow. Nice shower. Not the biggest. Look at all the height in Not there. the shower. Very tall. You need. And it works. Close that so we can see it. Okay. Wow, it works. This is a nice shower. I'm a huge fan. Got a fan? Yep, right over here you have your sink, your uh, your mirror right there, everything. This does open up right mm -hmm. there. You got, look, that's cute. You got shelves uh -huh. and the toilet paper holder. The sink's sideways. It's okay. This mm -hmm. toilet, though. Towel holder. And then you got a tiny little cabinet up there. Yep. So let me get into the shower. This toilet sits up. I don't know. We'll see. We'll it's see. Now, it's now time for the toilet test. <laughs> uh oh. Are you dangling? I'm uh -oh. dangling. I'm oh, dangling. Oh no. Here's what I will say I love how they did this. So, for taller people, that little bit of extra is good. But I'm dangling. But here's what I will say at 76,995, I can afford a squatty potty, <laughs> I can afford a booster seat. I'll be just a okay with that. I second that. <laughs> Great. So that's it. That's the review. Now, before you guys leave, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Three things we dislike about it. All right. You go first. You know, I can't really think too much about what I dislike about it. I... Okay. Well, let I'm me begin that. at this again. Okay. Go ahead. I don't like the different colors. Oh man, she did it twice. Beige. We got brown. We got beige. I prefer it to me to just be all one color. Wrong. You so, are wrong. That's how I feel. <laughs> Actually, I believe most of America agrees with you when we did the poll. I disagree. I like it. And that's that. But that is the first dislike. Two, I don't I love the king bed. I don't like how it folds in half. Never have been a fan, never will be a fan of that. Um, it's just yeah. my pet peeve. So that's a dislike. And then three, these are only half dislikes. One, we're gonna say we love the backsplash, but they didn't continue it all the way up. So that's half a dislike. And another half of the dislike, I didn't like that bumper on the back. Oh, no, 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 no. Three, sorry. I like that and I like that, that's fine. Three, I don't like the twisty doors on the outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yep. You know, that, that's it, but that's what's gonna happen when you're entry level. Yep. I'm actually fine with the bumper in this, huh, because I don't like that a lot more than I don't like those. Great, now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andrea, first thing I'm gonna say, I think this cockpit area looks cool. I like the driver's seats, how it's two-toned. I like the way it looks up here. I like this pedestal table, how it has the two cup holders, and I like how that desk flips up to um, make a nice office area. So that's one. I have to say, I really, really, really like the color. Number two, cabinets. the colors, yes. It looks great. Yep. I like how natural it looks and it gives light in here. You know, it just, it looks great. They did a good job of mixing colors. Andrea, but it looks really great with the mixed color <laughs> furniture, I am just saying. You know, with the two-tone color furniture. Also, uh huh. Uh, I would have liked for them to maybe had an extension on the counter. Okay. I feel like this isn't enough counter space. They could have easily put the drawers maybe somewhere else or, you know, I, I don't know, made them smaller, but I, I feel like there should have been an extension here. Yep. So. Great. So three, I'm going to say I love the size of this motorhome. Yes. I, mean, I forgot about that. This is the that. smallest class A that you can get maybe in the world, but definitely from Coachman. Um, it's just nice, compact. It, it's so funny seeing this thing down the road. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Those old Safari treks, right? Mm -hmm. You know, just really small. Um, also, it's the only motorhome, the shortest motorhome, that uh, gives you a private bedroom and everything. We went over the refrigerator. Yep. Oh, goodness. Sure I need to go to sleep. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. 
But um, it's yeah, it's just a small motorhome, and I do like it. I love. And it. I yes. like how also look at the bedroom. I didn't yep. comment on this, but again, the two tone, the chair row kind of yep. looking here looks good. Yep. Not only that, all of this for that price range. It's it's, it's absolutely it's an, amazing. Yep, I agree. But that's it. That's the review. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please feel free to call me, text me, send me an email. It's Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or my personal cell, 301-906-0962. Or you can contact me now through the website, mattsrvreviews.com. Andre, do you have anything you want to say? Yeah. Hey, guys. Let us know the three things that you like about this, the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike, okay? Uh, I know Coachman does read the comments and we'd like to see what you have to say. Also, don't forget about our stickers. Ding! Ding. Buy one, get one free. Ding, ding! And I thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are all taking care and being safe. Yes, we appreciate the support from everybody uh, for watching. Thanks so much, Andrea. We'll, we'll see, see you next time! time.